Part Part Two: Aftermath. is finished, Liu Kang. Lord Raiden. I am merely Raiden now. You have proven worthy to take my place as the new protector of Earthrealm, once it is restored. You honor me, Raiden. The honor is mine, Lord Liu Kang. The sands of time are now yours to shape. It falls upon you to architect a new history. The fate of all realms in my hands? Raiden, I cannot do this alone. I shall advise you for as long as my mortality allows. But have no doubt, you are up to the task. Then together, let us begin. and deceit. We will not hear it. In defeating Kronika, you destroyed her crown. Without it, you can't restart history. The hourglass will shatter. All realms will be lost. Fujin, is this true? Kronika's every action was taken to ensure her crown's preparation. She would not dare to restart history without it. How do you know this? Kronika came to each of us. For our help, she offered places in her new era. For refusing her, we were banished to a void beyond time. We could observe the events leading up to your siege of the Keep, but we were powerless to intervene. But then you killed Kronika. The void seal was broken open, permitting our escape via the Hourglass. If you know so much about the Hourglass, how do you propose I reset the timeline? With the crown. The crown is destroyed. Only in our present, not in our past. And while I cannot restart history without the crown... You can send travelers back into the current timeline. I see. I must return to the moment before Kronika's defeat. End that battle differently, so that her crown remains intact. That leaves too much to chance. Kronika must never possess the crown. Otherwise, you cannot guarantee victory. What do you propose, sorcerer? That you send me into the past, to steal the crown from my island before Kronika sends Cetrion to claim it. I'll then deliver it to Lord Raiden, and together we'll defeat Kronika. With the crown and hourglass under our control, we can restart history safely. <laughs> Why are we listening to this snake? Because I am a snake who's toiled beside Kronika, learning her secrets. 
I know them. Do you? He has a point, Raiden. Fujiju. A word? How is it you conspire against Kronika? Did her promises of grandeur not suit you? She wanted me to be her pawn, not her partner. She sculpted my entire existence to serve her, to collect souls for her crown. When my purpose was served, she betrayed me, casting me into the void. Your grievance does not fool me, Shang Tsung. Then trust that we have a shared interest in breaking Kronika's stranglehold on our destinies. Inevitably, our interests will diverge. This alliance is temporary. Have no illusions otherwise. I understand your misgivings, but it is the only way. But the risk, Liu Kang, will be rewarded. Say nothing to Nightwolf. We will proceed with your plan, Shang Tsung. I must stay behind to operate the hourglass. But Night Wolf and Fujin will go with you to supervise. I welcome the assistance. I will join you. No, Raiden. I need your counsel here. Have faith in Fujin and Night Wolf. If I have faith in anyone, it is you, brother. I will try to send you back to the Time Merger. You should have enough time to claim the crown before Cetrion delivers it to Kronika. Your confidence is inspiring. As the Keeper of Time, I am still a novice, Night Wolf. May the Great Spirit protect us. an unholy monster. Exactly like you, father. <laughs> between Kotal and Shao Kahn. No, look! It's much later than that. This is Kitana's battle with Shao Kahn. Then we're almost out of time. We must escape quickly. Changing this battle's outcome could cause Cetrion to claim the crown earlier than expected and guarantee our failure. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> 
protected. Shang Tsung, or not? Where have you been hiding? You can sort with Earthrealmers now. His business is none of yours, Collector. My business is collecting what Shao Kahn wants. He will pay handsomely for you. You're outnumbered, Collector. Am I? There's our goal. Chronica's defeat. You will be partners in death. Fight. Thank you, great spirit. Shao Kahn. He always had more ego than skill. Come, let us leave while the crowd is distracted. No, we're already here later than we wanted to be. Let's go to your island now and take the crown. No detours. A rather public arrival at the Colosseum makes that impossible. Chronica's outworld allies will inform her of our presence. Go to my island now. We could be ambushed by Cetrion herself. And our combined power won't stop her. We need help. But whose help? We can't recruit any of our allies without altering this timeline's events. Sindel. Sindel's a revenant. Who can be restored to life. And who plays no major part in the battles that lie ahead. We can safely recruit her without disrupting events. <laughs> it's a tactic Chronica is unlikely to anticipate. She was Shao Kahn's empress, his equal in evil. Because he had her bewitched. Returning Sindel to life will restore her original, more heroic self. And if we fail? The Sindel I knew wiped out most of Earthrealm's champions in a single battle. If Nightwolf hadn't sacrificed himself, she would have killed them all. And that is the power we need to assure victory against Cetrion. Sindel is the key. And I suppose restoring her will be easy. Anything but. We can use Earthrealm's Jinsei to heal Sindel's body. But to break Quan Chi's spell and revive her soul, we will need access to Outworld's soul chamber. Uh, you have a different plan, Nightwolf? A better one? One hint of betrayal, Sorcerer. And we will finish you. Where do we start? Earthrealm, to acquire the Jinze. Coliseum. How is that possible? It should not be. Those cast into the void do not return. If Shang Tsung were to... I am aware, Garrus. Take Frost and find them. We must discern from when and whence they came. Hmm. 
That will be sufficient. You two may leave. I'll stay behind to secure the grotto. Your aid is not required. Shaolin was so diabolical. From you, that's high praise. Indeed. Nightwolf, Shang Tsung, come. Kronika is keen to question you. Isn't the future, Frost? We've seen it. Join us on the right side of history. The only side is Kronika's. My place in her new era is assured. Fight. Nothing is assured, Frost. <laughs> <laughs> I am eternal, Fujin. My will and my strength, infinite. I have fought. You are the fiercest. It must be why the Great Spirit chose me to wear the mantle. You are also anomalous. No one has ever escaped the void. Fight! To buy us time. We must be rid of him before he recovers. Fujin, summon the wind. Where did 
did you send him? Chaos Realm. Havoc will keep him entertained. Let's get to the Nether Realm. We're running out of time to find Sindel. Sandel. Not entirely unexpected, given that she did not aid in the Keep's defense. What was her role, then, if she is such a formidable weapon? Is it possible that... Ah! <sighs> Great spirit. What is it? My Revenant. He is close. The Great Spirit cannot save you. to the Bone Temple. Uh. Nightwolf. Shang Tsung. Nightwolf. Shang Tsung. Where are we? Shinnok's Bone Temple. Raiden's violence against our lord will not go unavenged, Fujin. Prepare to pay for your brother's sin. If you look well, death becomes you. Always the charmer, Shang Tsung. I will enjoy feeding Lord Shinnok your soul. most. Only the best will do for the man who killed me. I should have saved you. Hopefully we will today. <laughs> <laughs> without killing my revenant. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> As Raiden said to Lord Shinnok, there are fates worse than death. Fight! I can imagine few fates worse than yours. <laughs> Harming me only hurts you. 
My sacrifice will save the Matoka. Kronika has no love for our people. The Great Spirit is a fraud who allowed us to suffer. Kronika is our future. Fight. Kronika is not the answer. Ah! Oh. Shang Tsung, stop! We can restore him! He wounded me. If I die, we fail. Sorcerer, I'll... No, Nightwolf. Shang Tsung must live. Are you happy now? I am healthy, Nightwolf. That should be your concern. Both of you, please. We must make haste to the Soul Chamber. Then let us hurry. And hope Shiva is as eager to aid us as I anticipate. <laughs>